Here we have the second order non-homogeneous differential equation that is uh, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 3y equals 2 e power t. And in part A, we have to write down the auxiliary equation for the homogeneous equation and solve that uh, auxiliary equation. So first, uh, let's write the homogeneous form of this uh, differential equation. The homogeneous form is uh, y double prime minus uh, 4y prime plus uh, 3y equals uh, 0. And so we can write down the auxiliary equation by replacing y double prime by r squared and uh, replace y prime by r. So this will become 4r plus uh, this will become 3 and this equals uh, 0. Let's solve this uh, equation. Uh, this one is a quadratic equation in r. So we can write down in uh, factor form that is uh, r minus 3 times uh, r minus 1 equals uh, 0 because the product of uh, negative 3 negative 1 is positive 3 and when you sum up uh, negative 3 negative 1 we have negative 4 so this uh, factors is uh, perfect so let's solve this uh, equation so we will have uh, r minus 3 equals uh, 0 or r minus uh, 1 equals uh, 0 solving this we get uh, r equals uh, 3 and solving this we get uh, r equals 1 so therefore, we see that uh, the roots of this auxiliary equation R1 equals uh, 3 and uh, R2 equals uh, 1. And this means uh, we can write down the homogeneous uh, solution for the homogeneous differential equation. That is uh, YH which represents the homogeneous uh, solution. And this equals uh, A e power R1t plus uh, B e power R2t. This is the formula. So, therefore, the homogeneous uh, solution yh equals a e power replace r1 by 3. So, it becomes uh, a e power 3t plus uh, we know replace uh, r2 by 1. So, it becomes uh, 1t which is uh, b e power t. And thus, uh, we have obtained the homogeneous uh, solution for the given differential equation. In part B, we determine the particular solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation. So for that, uh, we should first write down the particular form of this differential equation. So we write uh, yp, this equals, uh, since we have already utilized the two constants a and b, I'm going to use another constant uh, c multiplied with uh, e power t. Uh, this we write according to this uh, right side expression. But observe that uh, this e raised to the power of t is basically uh, one of the term in the homogeneous differential equation. So we should multiply this quantity by t. And so therefore we get uh, the particular solution. Uh, this equals uh, ct e raised to the power of t. But uh, we have to determine the value of the constant uh, c. So let's see how to determine the constant C. And uh, for that, uh, we should find the uh, two derivatives of this uh, YP, since uh, this is a second order differential equation. So first, let's find the first derivative of this YP. So we will have uh, YP prime, and this equals, uh, to find the derivative of this right side expression, we use product rule of uh, differentiation. That is, we consider this as first term and the e power t as the second term. And so when we do that, uh, we put the first term, multiply with the derivative of e power t, that is uh, e power t. Now we put the second term, e power t, times the derivative of uh, ct. The derivative of uh, ct equals uh, c times the derivative of t, which is 1. So it is uh, c. So I put uh, c here. And so therefore this equals uh, ct e power t plus uh, c times uh, e power t. This is uh, yp prime that is the first derivative of yp. Now we should also find one more derivative that is yp double prime. So let's write uh, yp double prime by finding the derivative of yp prime. And first uh, we determine the derivative of uh, ct e power t. Notice that uh, this is basically yp and when we find its derivative, we obtain uh, this expression. That is the derivative of uh, ct e power t is uh, this expression. 
So I'm going to uh, put the derivative of this uh, CTE power T as the sum of these two terms, that is YP prime. So I write uh, CTE power T plus uh, CE power T. And then we should find the derivative of uh, CE power T now, which is uh, CE power T. So let's uh, simplify this. So here we have YP double prime. And this equals uh, C T e power t. This one is C e power t plus C e power t is uh, 2 C e power t. This is y p double prime. Now we are going to use the given differential equation. Replace uh, y by y p prime. So therefore the given differential equation will become y p double prime minus uh, 4 y p prime plus uh, 3 times of y p and this equals uh, 2 e power t. Now let's substitute the y p double prime, y p prime and y p into this equation and solve for uh, c. So let's replace uh, y p double prime. This is y p double prime which is uh, c t e power t plus uh, 2c e power t we then have minus 4 times of uh, yp prime here we have yp prime that is uh, c t e power t plus c e power t so i write uh, c t e power t plus uh, c e power t plus uh, we then put uh, 3 times of yp yp is uh, c t e power t so replace yp by ct e power this one is e power t and this equals on the right side we have uh, two times of uh, e power t now let's simplify this so this equals uh, ct e power t plus uh, 2c e power t Let's distribute this negative 4. We will have a negative 4 C T e power t negative 4 C e power t plus uh, distributing this 3 we get uh, 3 C T e power t and this equals uh, 2 e power t. Now let's uh, look out for the like terms. We have uh, C T e power t negative 4 C T e power t t and then uh, positive 3 c t e power t so these are the like terms uh, so when we factor out this uh, t e power t in this like terms we will have uh, c in the first term negative c in the second term and uh, positive 3 c in the third term and then we have uh, two more like terms that is uh, this one is uh, 2 c e power t negative 4 c e power t and this reduces to negative 2 c e power t equals uh, 2 e power t so here we have uh, t e power t times uh, this one is uh, 3 c plus c is 4 c minus 4 c is uh, 0 so this term is going to be 0 negative 2 c e power t and this equals uh, 2 e power t this term is a 0 and so here we have the equation negative 2 c e power t equals 2 e power t dividing both sides by e power t we will have this term cancel also dividing both sides by 2 we will have these two cancel so on the left side we have a negative c and this equals uh, when you divide this will be 1 and this will be 1 so it is 1 and this implies uh, c equals uh, negative 1 so we have determined the value of c which is negative 1 and this means we can write down the particular solution by substituting into this uh, equation so therefore uh, we have yp which represents the particular solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation and this equals uh, negative t e power t this is the particular solution In part C, we determine the exact solution of the differential equation. So we write the exact solution y. This equals uh, 
the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. And so we write uh, y, this equals, uh, we have determined the homogeneous and the particular solution in parts a and b. So we will utilize that yh equals uh, a e power 3t plus uh, b e power t plus we now replace yp which is uh, this one is uh, negative t e power t negative t e raised to the power of t and here we have to determine the constants a and b for that uh, we will utilize the initial conditions given as it is y of 0 equals 0 and uh, y prime of 0 equals 2. So first we will replace this uh, initial condition y of 0 equals uh, 0 which means uh, when t equals uh, 0 y equals uh, 0 let's uh, plug it over here t and the y equals 0 so therefore 0 equals uh, a e power 3 times of uh, 0 plus uh, b e power 0 minus uh, 0 times uh, e power 0 and here we get uh, 0 equals uh, e raised to the power of 0 is uh, 1 so this will become a times of 1 is a plus uh, b e power 0 is b times of 1 is b and this term is uh, 0 so we have obtained one equation that is uh, let's say this is equation number 1 now we should replace the second initial condition that is uh, y prime of 0 equals uh, 2 and for that we should find the derivative of uh, this equation and then use that uh, initial condition. So let's find the derivative of uh, this equation by differentiating both sides with respect to t. So we will have uh, y prime and this equals the derivative of a e power 3t is uh, 3a e power 3t using the chain rule and this will be the derivative of uh, b e power 3t is uh, b e power t is b e power t and let's find the derivative this one will be we have to use the product rule here so it is uh, negative t e power t and then uh, we put uh, plus e power t times the derivative of negative t is uh, negative 1 and so this basically is a negative of uh, e power t. I'm going to replace this as negative e power t. Now we can utilize the initial condition that is y prime of 0 equals 2. That is when t equals 0, y equals 2. I'm sorry, y prime equals 2. So let's put uh, y prime equals 2 and replace all t by 0. So therefore we get uh, 3a times uh, e raised to the power of uh, 3 times of 0 plus uh, b e power 0 minus uh, 0 times of uh, e raised to the power of uh, 0 minus uh, e raised to the power of uh, 0. And so this gives uh, 2 equals. This quantity is 1, so 3a times 1 is uh, 3a. This quantity is 1, so therefore b times of 1 is b. And this one is 0 times of 1 is uh, 0. And this one is uh, 1, so it is uh, negative 1 here. So let's write this equation by adding uh, 1 on both sides. So here we have uh, 3 equals uh, 3a plus b. Let's say this is uh, equation number 2. Now we can solve these two equations 1 and 2 and determine the values of a and b. So let's have the equation 1 which is a plus b equals 0. So here a equals negative b. So I'm going to replace a by negative b here. So this becomes 3 equals 3 times of negative b plus b and so this gives uh, negative 3b plus b this equals 3 solving this we get negative 3b plus b is uh, negative 2b equals 3 and so this gives uh, b equals negative 3 by 2 now if we replace b by negative 3 by 2 into this uh, equation we get uh, a equals uh, positive 3 by 2. 
So thus we have uh, determined the values of A and B. A equals uh, positive 3 by 2 and B equals negative 3 by 2. So therefore we can uh, replace this into the exact solution. So let's write the exact solution that is y equals uh, a e power 3t. So this one is uh, 3 by 2 e power 3t plus uh, b e power t. So b is negative 3 by 2. So I write down negative 3 by 2 e power t. And then the last term is uh, negative t e power t. So this one is uh, negative t e power t. And so this is the exact solution of the differential equation. In part D, we evaluate uh, y of natural logarithm of 2. So for this, uh, we can utilize the exact solution which we obtain in uh, part C. So I write the exact solution of the differential equation y equals uh, 3 by 2 e raised to the power of uh, 3t minus uh, 3 by 2 e power t minus uh, t times of uh, e power t. So here we should replace uh, t by natural logarithm of 2 and determine y of uh, ln 2. So therefore when we do that we get uh, y of uh, ln 2 and this equals uh, replace all t by ln 2. This becomes 3 by 2 e raised to the power of uh, 3 times of uh, ln 2 minus uh, 3 by 2 e raised to the power of uh, ln 2. I write the third term here that is uh, natural logarithm of 2 times uh, e raised to the power of uh, ln 2. Let's simplify and find the value. And so this equals uh, 3 by 2 e raised to the power of uh, this one is, uh, we take this uh, 3 as the power of 2 using the power root of natural logarithm. So therefore, this becomes a natural logarithm of uh, 2 power 3. This will become natural logarithm of 2 power 3, which is a natural logarithm of 8. 2 power 3 is 8. So I write down natural logarithm of 8 here. And then I write the negative. Uh, next term that is uh, 3 by 2 e raised to the power of natural logarithm of 2 minus uh, I write the next term as it is natural logarithm of uh, 2. Now we know that uh, e and natural logarithm are inverse to each other so they cancel out and here also they cancel out and here also they cancel out and uh, this is going to leave as uh, 3 by 2 times uh, 8 minus uh, 3 by 2 times 2 minus uh, natural logarithm of 2 times 2. So this equals, uh, we can factor out the 3 by 2. That is uh, 3 by 2 times of 8 minus 2. We will have uh, 8 minus 2 here. And this equals uh, 6. So this one is 6, which we divide here. So it goes 3 times. So this one is basically 9. So I'm going to replace this quantity by 9. Minus, uh, we can write this as uh, 2 times of uh, natural logarithm of 2. And so we can find its uh, decimal equivalent by plugging this expression into the calculator. And when we do that, we get... 7.61. This one is uh, approximated to two decimal places. So this is the value of uh, y of uh, ln2.